Time for Cold Hot Football Facts Game of the Week, and it's two of the Titans from the AFC, and we're not talking about Tennessee. Hi, everybody. I'm Butch Stearns of the Pulse Network. Kerry Byrne of Cold Hot Football Facts. Love this game of the week. Last week, Baltimore was at home. They had a game Dallas team. And they survived 31-29. Houston was at home. They did not survive. They got steamrolled by Green Bay. Houston's at home now. The Texans taking on the Ravens. Two 5-1 teams. But again, they have to prove that they're worthy Super Bowl contenders. This is one of those marquee games. Well, I think, I think they both do. And, you know, Baltimore survived, as he said. But they not only survived, they survived against what we call America's dumbest team. The Dallas Cowboys are, are a bad team. They do stupid things. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. They proved it again by just that fiasco at the end. A game they could have won in Baltimore. So, yes, you're right, your Baltimore did survive. And Houston, you don't know if it's a one-time blip. They were a statistically dominant team. Now with plenty to prove, and we cited... We talked about this game a couple weeks ago as a game to mark on your calendar, and here it is, both of them are 5-1. and one. Let's look at Baltimore first. Uh, really, really tough injuries for them after this game. Besides the fact they, they, they did survive, I mean, they lost Ray Lewis, they lost Ladarius Webb, two of their best defenders, the both out for the season. Terrell Suggs, still not ready, may not be ready for a couple weeks. Uh, this is a wounded team right now, and uh, you, ha- you know, how much can Joe Flacco carry the load going forward? Because, Butch, this was not a good defense as it was with Webb and Lewis in the lineup. Yeah, you look at your numbers. I mean, when was Baltimore in the bottom 15 when it came to defense in your I, numbers? I mean, passing yards per attempt, they're getting, they're getting people, quarterbacks are lighting them up for a lot of yards every time they drop back to pass. They're not rushing the passer, bottom half of the league there. And, you know, the defensive hog index, a pride of that team, a team that always had great uh, great defenders, a great defensive line. They're bottom half of the league as well, number 19 right now in the defensive hog index. You have to be very concerned if you're a Ravens fan. So while your numbers said that the Ravens defense was not playing that well this year anyway, your numbers said going into the Green Bay game that Houston was dominant. They were tops in a lot of your numbers, but they took a big hit in your rankings. That was, that was probably the, the most shocking game of the year based on where, where Green Bay was coming into that game, right? Struggling 2-3 and three and where Houston was, 5-0 and oh, undefeated. Number one across the board in a lot of our indicators. And if you look, it's amazing how badly they tumbled in the space of one game. You don't usually see this five games into the season. Number one to number four in our quality stats power rankings. Defensive quarterback rating, they dropped five spots. Passer rating differential, they dropped nine. This is the big one, Butch. Dropped 12 spots in defensive passer rating. You have to be in the top 10 in that number to be a true Super Bowl contender. At number two, Houston was a, great, was a true Super Bowl contender. With that, with that pass defense, now number 14, middle of the pack, that's a bad, bad sign. And they need to play better. They need to improve. They need to shut down Joe Flacco to prove that they're still Super Bowl contenders. Let me ask you about the quarterbacks and the coaches and what's at stake in this game. To me, again, these are pretenders until they become real contenders. Yeah. With Joe Flacco as the quarterback and Harbaugh as the coach, they were a field goal away from the Super Bowl this year, but they didn't get it done. Yeah. Some people can call the Patriots lucky, but they didn't. So a lot to prove for yeah. the Ravens. Houston, though has been on a trend. You picked them to go to the Super Bowl yeah. before the year and called up football facts. But again, they're home, coming off a loss. So with Kubiak as the head coach and with Schaub as the quarterback, they have more to prove now, don't they? Yeah, I mean, they do. I mean, they still have a lot to prove. But, uh, you know, they were number one in our quality stats power rankings last year, a Super Bowl contender until the Schaub injury. They were number one this year until that loss to the Packers. My instinct is it's just a blip. It's a road bump. They had a bad game. They weren't prepared. And they, they can recover at home against Baltimore. But... They still have to, until they do that, you know, we don't know. They need, they need to prove themselves. I think that's what makes it a great game. Two teams, five and one, Super Bowl hopes, and both with a lot to prove. So, Kerry, that's your instinct, but your pick will be up on Cold Hard Football Facts yeah, this week. We have all our real and spectacular picks every week at Cold Hard Football Facts Insider. And, you know, right now I think uh, the Texans, it looks like this was a blip game. I don't think, you know, Aaron Rodgers is a much better, more productive quarterback than Joe Flacco. I don't think Flacco can tear up that defense the way that Rodgers did. But you know what? We'll see. They have to go out and prove it. Get access to all the numbers at Cold Hard Football Facts, the numbers that correlate to victory. Become an insider today. He's Kerry Byrne. I'm Butch Stearns. This is Cold Hard Football Facts on Football Nation.